I've created all these reports automatically. Let's look how I did it. I'll go to my spatial file with a script called templates copier. I've entered all sets in sheet code reports and in sheet code report filters. Right now I will delete all these links and go back to my folder and delete all these reports to create them again. In my templates copier I'll go to tools, script, editor and run the only function from this list. Click run. I waited until the function stopped the execution and let's see what the logger says. This is first log with all file links and the next. So the time to create 14 files was about 50 seconds. And you see all links were created again. Let's look at report number one, Jill. Let's go to this link and see sales rep Jill with all sales by a rep called Jill. Let's go to Andrews, see the same and all reports were created by Andrews. And also I have task ID number two with reports by region East, West and Central. Let's go to Central region. Yes, I see, see it works and I'll go back to created by template, my folder. I refreshed it and you see all reports were created successfully. Regions and sales reps. So let's go to the beginning and see the template files. I have two templates. One template is for sales reps and one for regions. Let's go and see how it looks like. So, uh, this is the template for sales reps. It has data. The data is the same for each report. It has sets with the only value Andrews and it's an end range called sales rep in cell B1. Let's go to the report page and you see the formula here. Sales report and sales rep and query formula. Data select all where code 3 equals to sales rep in single quotes. This is how it works. So when I change here Andrews to Howard, let's change. My report was changed by the formula. This is a report by Howard and it is called sales report Howard. And that's it for template number one. Let's look at template number two. In the sheet report you see sales report by region and Query select all where asterisk means select all and I needed these brackets to convert range into array and to name columns by their number go to equals region and sets are the same and data is also the same. So that's it for templates and let's go back to our script file called templates copier. Here we have two reports in sheet code reports. Task ID is necessary, you need to number it. One, two in my case. Uh, template ID is IDs from templates. One MA, let's look at template two. And here it is. In the browser URL, you just copy it from here and paste it to template ID. Folder ID is the same in my case. Let's 
C, template copier, and C, this is folder 1UOL, and you need to copy it here. Range to replace. In sales, it was sales rep named range, so you may name it by name range, or sets B1 would also work. So full address with name of sheet. This optional, you may leave this blank and the script will not replace anything. So in my case, it replaces sales rep with names of sales reps and sets B1 replaces with regions. File prefix. File name starts with sales rep and regions. And these two columns, you don't need them, they are calculated by the formula automatically. And you need to also see report filters. The value must be sorted by column. Yes, so task number one, then task number two, and so on. This is needed because script will put here links to future reports and script in the script must know where the range is placed and values values of sales reps here and values of regions here and finally the sheet code ini you also don't need to edit here nothing because it's totally work by formulas and its purpose is to create variables for the script to work. So that's it when you prepare your settings and your template files. You may create and recreate all your reports automatically in a minute.